Good morning traders and this is your DAX review for today. So yesterday we were looking at this uh, level here and uh, sort of anticipating a flat open. We didn't get a flat open, we got a gap up and pretty much rallied uh, fairly strongly. It's an interesting break to say the, to say the least. So um, I think for me at the moment, you know, that does validate sort of a head and shoulders or a inverse cup and handle here. We've got a daily close above this level. So for me, this could be the indication that the markets are going to find a direction. So the three hour, bring that close into the middle. So the three hour is pretty much, let's see how we had the gap up, rejection, rejection. And I was actually anticipating that this is going to fall, but the reality is you need to have your you need to have your entry below here and I'm going to show you something about gaps and I've got a video on gaps which played out to the T on this yesterday. Okay, so this could be an exhaustion bar. Just bear that in mind. It could be an exhaustion bar. I don't think it's actually at a level though that's slightly above the previous high and no real level to the left here. Okay, it's just kind of in a zone where this, this other stepped in. And it could just be profit taking, but this is a bullish, sorry, bearish pattern. I'd want confirmation and I want a second attempt before taking a trade like that, especially with a trend that is as strong at the moment. Okay, so for me, this is probably just a pullback. I'd like to see a pullback and sort of back into uh, 12570 would be nice. Okay. So looking at the hour, we've got a lower fractional here. So let's just move our trend line to the fractional. There are two fractionals. Nothing else that I can see. Trend is still up. Move down to the half hour. Trend is still up. And the difference here is I have a different fractional. There's my fractional. Okay. So these are my two fractionals that we need to watch for a break to sort of pick up a direction. If we do get a break below 12.609, I'm not too optimistic that we're going to fall that far. It, you know, it may just be a little pullback back to 12, 12.586. Okay, so which is not that far from here, still within the, the upward trend line before you can expect some buyers stepping in. So there are a couple of other levels here as well. So if we just move down to the 12 minutes. Um, yeah, let's just use this level here. So we do have a close below this fractional, which is below the alligator. So technically, that is a very signal, and you can see a little head and shoulders here as well. So you would expect sort of a move, something in line with that. Okay. So this is my line in the sand, 12609. Uh, if we just have a quick look at what the futures market is doing now, ever so slightly down, 0.21 down. Um, but that's pretty much because China's flat at the moment. So the one thing that you do see here, though, specifically on the 12 minutes, is we are sort of oversold at the moment. Okay, so if anything, I would expect this little head and shoulders to play out, pull back to a level. This is my line in the sand, 12.609. And uh, even if that does go, I'd be looking to buy around 12.386. Okay, so I'm looking to buy around here with a stop, 85 point stop loss below this consolidation area here. Okay, and uh, let's get rid of the noise because let's come up. Let's just put. so that could be the flag that that builds. And if you look at this, that level there would be nicely aligned with the bottom of this flag. Okay. And the other thing that it would be 
is more than likely a Fibonacci level. Uh, fairly close to the 61.8. Okay, so anyway, that's kind of, this is kind of the area that I'd be looking for and the other, that's the area that I'm looking for to buy again. Okay, so anything between uh, 12566 and 12585. So if, is there a chance of a 50-point move to the downside? Yes, there is, but it's a risky move, so it's not a move that I'm willing to take. Okay, if we do break above this fractal here to the upside, which basically would put this into a triangle. There's our triangle with a fake out and then a move to the upside. Or alternatively, it's just going to put it in as a as a channel. Okay, so delete that. Uh, delete the Fibonacci. And delete that. Okay, so there you can see really sort of spike and channel or a spike and range. So we broke up, then came back, and then sort of started consolidating. So this is consolidating, and this was a strong move. So my bias is to the upside. Even if we do squirt down, I'd expect a tail to form. Okay, so that's kind of that view. Let's just quickly move across to Ichimoku. And I uh, just really want to start off with the hour here. So at the moment, trend is up. We are ranging, okay, which is clear, ranging. Flat, uh, almost a flat cloud. Flat Kijunson, Tikinson. So, a little bit of a range, but trend is very strong to the upside. Looking at the 4-hour, trend is also very strong to the upside, but we are ranging, and we are far from Kijunson. So, a pullback is not necessarily spelling doom, it's just an area to pull back to for another opportunity to buy. And looking at the daily, Kijunson and Tikinson running together, pointing straight up, that is a very bullish signal. Okay, that is bullish, this is bullish. So everything at the moment is bullish. Uh, even, you know, even with all the other signals we see, this to me is a crucial break. Okay, and this here is a second crucial break. Okay, so head and shoulders, cup and handle, doesn't matter which way you look at it. Um, measured move at the moment is this here. We are looking for first measured move is 12.891, and then the second one is going to be the cup and handle, which is up here at 13.500. Okay, so that's kind of my long term view at the moment. So long it is, but obviously on the lower time frames, you want to get in at better positions. Okay, so. Pretty much by the dips. Anyway, guys, that's it for me today. Hope it helps, and uh, I will catch you later. Cheers for now.